just glad to be here today. Seriously. Thank you. I got to testify just a little bit. If you just bear with me for a second. This last night I woke up in the middle of the night and I said, you know what? Dave, you'll sleep all day. You've been going to 1839. I said, we're set up alarm. I did that about 2 a.m. I guess. Went back and slept good then. And the alarm went off and I wasn't ready to get up. Well, I got to get up and I got my cup of coffee poured and I looked out the window and I said, boy, they got a good fire starter in a fire. I'm sorry, smoking. Unbeknownst to me, it got brighter quicker. And of course, in my beautiful attire of sleepwear, I jumped out, grabbed my foot flop and run. I used to see this fat old man running up the hill. Kind of like he was up. That's the way being a Christian is. You don't know when he's going to call you to do We're here for his good pleasure the Bible says, and protect others and do unto them. And then I beat the door to hurt my knuckles. The main thing I had to do was get them out of there and get the car moved away from the golf cart. Now they lost the golf cart, but maybe they didn't get a new one. Maybe that's the way God's trying to do with you. He's trying to make you refocus your life and get in line with Him. We appreciate you so much for being here. Every day of your life, Try to share something about God. Point, birds, God, you. Tell someone about God. Our days are limited, as we all know. I've got over here quickly in the last few years. And you need to tell your loved ones, basically, most importantly, your family, there is a God in our God. You can use it in anything. I became a firefighter. I didn't know it. I saved the life I feel through God's help. We've got people out there and wouldn't more damage than possible. So pray for those folks today. They have a loss, but maybe they have found something. 